Storm Roosters, Amy Park, Friday night, live and free here on Nine. Just remember, very similar circumstances, albeit a week earlier in the, the finals last year they met, the Roosters given no chance and they mm. came within, what was it, like, was it half a minute? Half a minute? <clears throat> a minute of winning the game? It was a great try too. I think whoever wins this game will win the comp. I think Melbourne, Melbourne will, I think they'll win. Much I'd love to it. see the Roosters win. Oh, here it is. What a catch. He's been a great oh, guy, hadn't he? Oh, he went over. So they pushed Toops to the right wing. No, Did Toops play? No, that's Suli and no, that's, Corey oh, that's, Allen. That's, that's Junior Tupu. Was he, he might have been out. Is that Corey Allen in number four? Yes. Yes. Well, that's Junior oh, Tupu. That's not Daniel Tupu. They had, they had a million Tupu. injuries from going down there, remember? They had right. heaps of blokes out. Yeah. She's had some good try. Oh, <laughs> to... To win a semi, yeah. that's unbelievable. And remember Munster hadn't done anything all game? <laughs> he just fires that kick. kick. It was like that in origin yeah. a few times. They got beat by 40 the week after. What about JWH versus Big Nasty? Big Nelson. Mm. Who's well, going to be the key? The Roosters. And since the game, they've spoken about how they have to be aggressive. They can't win without being aggressive. Mm. It's about not getting penalised while you're being aggressive. Mm. Are you worried about the Roosters have gone with four big boppers on the bench? So there's no cover. I've been so surprised, actually. That happens nearly every game now. Like some Four people, big some people, nah. Some people have, you know, a Tyrone Wishart. Yeah. Well, um, someone who can, you know, pretty much cover a lot of positions. But a lot of teams at the back end of the year were going with four big people. Who are the, uh, the Panthers? Who are the Panthers? Well, they've got Schneider on the bench, well, but they that's, got that's depending on, on Sorensen's potential fitness. Right. So they, also, they could possibly go with four forwards. I, I reckon they might keep Schneider there as an insurance policy. Well, does that, what does that tell you about Nathan? Tell you he's not 100%. Well, he'll be fine. I think they're just trying to cover. Uh, we'll get to that in the next game. Teddy, been brilliant. Mm, Unanimous player of the match last week. Well, the week before, the week before I said that Kalen should be fullback. Well, that won't be happening. You're backflips. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you've, you've mocked him. After on the weekend, I was wrong once again. <laughs> Teddy deserves to be fullback and captain. I understand um, Turbo has made himself available. He was supposed to have an op, but they've put it off. Has he really? Yeah. Wow. And for the outside backs, they haven't got many outside backs, the Aussies. So. Turbo centre, right centre. Oh, uh, yeah, T Teddy was at his best. I like that he was at the ruck, but then he was getting on the right side with Keary, linking. He was out of this world. It was one of the best games I've seen him play. Mm. Top five games, I reckon, in the top five he's ever played, which is saying something. Mm. The two plays, the one where he set up Radley's try, was unbelievable. Ball playing, the, nearly the best ball playing you can imagine. Mm. You watch the Manly defenders at the Here post. They weren't even thinking of him passing. And then Victor just leads into the line. The other one was the movement on him when he scored that try. At his age, when he scored that second try, you watch Doink. the movement once he goes in and then he swerves to the right. Like... Someone here, watch this. No, no, that's not it. You watch his try. Like, the, the speed and the agility to score the try was incredible. It's been and a great he comeback. Him. He was being written off last year, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Well, he was written off mid-year when he lost his origin. Full-back position to Dylan Edwards. Mm. Why didn't we show the try where he accelerated the score? Because Off the offload from Angus. Like a yeah. He, uh, how fast was he? Mate. For his age, and a bloke who's played that many games, still to be able to move like that, that was... Fullback for Australia and captain? Yeah. Yeah. Teddy? Teddy. For sure. Is Kalen playing? <laughs> is Nathan... No. Is Nathan going for surgery? Yeah. He is? Yeah. I heard something saying he wanted... Dylan Edwards. I, I keep saying that Dylan Edwards is going for surgery. I don't know why. I, I don't I, know whether I'm... I heard he's not now. OK. Yeah. Um, all right. If there's to be an upset this weekend, is it that game? Yep. Are you tipping Melbourne? Yep. Confidently? Yep. OK. I'm tipping the Roosters without confidence. Are you tipping that through sense of loyalty or sense yes. of...? Yes. Yes, OK. Sense of uh, brown paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen anymore. Oh, Saturday God. night at Core Stadium, Panthers Sharks. Never happened. Penrith trying to make a fifth grand final in a row. So they're uh, alongside Melbourne and... Parramatta for teams that have played in four straight grand finals. If they go to a fifth, they join the South Sydney team from the 60s. 60s and, 70s. and then the only team above that's the 11 in a row, St George. Mm. Incredible. Incredible. Mm.
especially nowadays in the salary cap era, th that'll never happen again. Not in, our not in our lifetime. You say that? Like thoughts, that. thoughts here. I just Penrith win. The only thing that will stop. I it, think the last three. Stop it. A draft. Um, well, the draft and the salary cap pretty much well, work the same thing. Mm. Draft won't happen. Rugby league's too tribal for that. That's um, unbelievable. That so the last not. three plot times they've played. Sharks haven't scored a point. Haven't scored a point. This was off the back of Sharks beating Melbourne and the Roosters in consecutive weeks, then coming home against Penrith, and the Panthers absolutely belted them. Mm. Belted them. Different class. Uh, well, there's going to be some wet weather over uh, Sydney town the next three or four days, mm. so this might be a I think damp. it's more Thursday, Friday. What do you think? The Penrith, Penrith I should think win. Pen yeah, I think Penrith. I can't see Sharks scoring more than... 12 to 14 points. The try where Trindle <laughs> flicked yeah. it to Nicker tells me that they can score a couple of tries. He's got a little bit of class. Is so Mulatalo's another one. He can just come up with something. I reckon there's a couple of tries there. I think Katoa's busted. Enough. Jesse Raymond, I understand his ankle is absolutely mm. cactus. Right. Um, so it's sort of busted. This bloke on the weekend, Braden Trindle. <laughs> what a game. Nearly a 10 out of 10. Look at that move. Look at this move. <laughs> Jesus, a good player. <laughs> so, Penrith, it, they, they can be a little vulnerable out wide with their defensive read. The Isaac centres Tungle. in particular. Or well, between Tungle. Nathan. Around Nathan and Isaac. Mm. No, I can't see him beating. I can't see him beating Penrith at all. Mm. So I, I think there's only 12 to 14 points in him, and then I think Penrith's got 30-odd points in him, the way they attack. And they're fresh up too after a week off. Can you fresh? Yeah. Can you engineer a game plan to beat them? But like you kind of got to get them chasing from behind on the. I think you got to break their rhythm. You got to be different. You got to offload the ball. I'd be doing stuff like kicking the ball out, walking to the scrum or the tap, slowing it down, quicking it up, running from dummy half. Mm. The big thing they do is they kick and they chase really well, and they get their speed aligned. If the referee gets on their back a little bit, that could hurt them. But outside that, if he doesn't, if they're allowed to get off the line really quick like they do, you won't be able to beat them. Well, the referees... Because they work too hard in all the other parts the of the game. The referees game. haven't been blowing penalties. Exactly. That suits Penrith down yeah. to the ground. Well, actually, Nathan the more and ball in... come out and were quoted saying, you know, yeah. they had the referees... Well, the more ball in play pop. just suits Penrith. Yeah. Thinking Remember about... that game? We, we did a game this year, and the fatigue alert, the ball was in play for nine minutes. Nearly got to ten. And the longer yeah. it went, the more comfortable Penrith looked. But look at the size of Penrith. They're nothing like the size of yeah. Melbourne and a few of the other teams, mate. They're all small, compact. You look at their wingers. They're wingers and centres. They're small. Like they're small and stocky and fit and fast. Like they work. He's a player they're that Mitch. Small. When Mitch Kenny hasn't been there, geez, he improves their middle. That's him there, Mitch Kenny. Mm. Ooh. Well, he got suspended a couple of times. Oh, look at the Warwick Farms on that. Scary. Yes, indeed. So. Uh, Penrith by how much? Uh, I think Penrith by... 13 plus? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know the thing that made you realise that they are right up for this again, that fatigue isn't a factor, was that first final, when the charge down happened, when Cleary kicked it and they charged... Nathan. They on the trial line. And the whole, the team. whole team was back before, yeah. before the opposition. I've never seen anything like it. Mm. <laughs> now, you watch them. Like, no, you, you never get... The true, the true aspect of what they're, how good they are, because the video doesn't cover it. Mm. When they kick, we follow the ball. The whole team, mm. tackle two, the whole team are on side. Mm. Most teams, it's like tackle four. Mm. You get in front rolls back. You win some, you lose more. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website. This year, NRL on Nine is your one-stop shop for all footy. That's right, Freddie. Not about the highlights. Action, seven days a week. Billy and Gus podcast, get that on your drive on the way home. Immortal behaviour, grab a seat on the couch for that. And of course, my favourite, Fred in the Own. The best footy brains, the biggest games. Don't trust the algorithm, subscribe to NRL on 9 and get all your entertainment there.